Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. Montgomery, I teach 4th and 5th grade math, and today we're going to be learning how line plots with fractions and mixed numbers work. Now, we worked with line plots last time. We talked about how last time Mr. Montgomery forgot to have a title and a label in his, and so we're going to make sure that we have those items specifically for today when we learn about fractions and whole numbers. So we worked with decimals yesterday, and so we're going to be working with fractions today. Now I have a whole bunch of information and a story to go with it. It says, an art supply store sells sheets of canvas. The length of some sheets in inches are shown in the list. So all of these are in inches, which means my length has to be in inches. Now I have a whole bunch of data right here. I have eight and a half. Uh, I'm trying to find my smallest one, which looks like it's eight and a half. And what's my biggest one? 11. So if I go eight and a half, I have some nines, I have some tens, I have some nine and a half, so I have some tens and elevens. So I have half inches and whole inches. I think it would be smart to start with my smallest one of eight and a half. And my largest one is 11. Let's go up by half inches. That way, that would be my, just double checking, scale. So my scale would be from eight and a half to 11. That's where my data set is. So my smallest one is eight and a half. My largest one is 11. Now I need to figure out the, oh, I'm trying to figure out, it's interval. So interval, how much I go up by, I think my interval probably should be half inches. That way we can go nine, nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, and 11. And that way I have my scale from eight and a half to 11, perfectly laid out. And my intervals, nice, even half inches. Now I'm gonna be transferring the data. So how many eight and a halves do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna cross those out. No, 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 and no. Perfect. Um, any nines? Any nines? No, no, no. Yes, I have two right there. One and two. One and two. Any nine and a halves? One, two, two nine and a halfs, cross those out. Any tens, it looks like I have two tens. That's one and two, one and two. Any 10 and a halfs, no 10 and a halfs, but I have one, two, three, elevens. One, two, three, elevens. One, two, three, elevens. So I've transferred the data onto a line plot. Now let's see if there's any questions for that. All right, since there are 14 sheets of canvas, there are 14 X's on the line plot. Let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are 14 sheets. Awesome. The most frequent number is 8 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different times. Uh, there are three stacks, or there are three sheets that are 11 inches long, since there are three X's above 11. And there are the same number of nine and nine and a half sheets and 10 inch sheets of canvas. Each have the same length of two. So in your homework, make sure that when you take your data set like this, you're figuring out a couple of different things. You're figuring out, okay, I need a title. I need some sort of way to tell what I'm measuring by. I need a starting number and an ending number based on my data that I have here. And I need some sort of frequency or small increments that I go up by every single time. Make sure that you have one, two, three, four, and essentially the data, five different things. It's a lot to ask for, but if you need help, please feel free to ask. All right, my fifth grade friends, if we take a look at page 285, you see that we're gonna be working with practice problems number one, three, and four. I have drawn the uh, line, <laughs> sorry, I have drawn the line plot for the Martinez's apples. It says the Martinez family goes apple picking. The weights of the apples they pick are shown in the line plot. Use the line plot for exercises one through five. For number one, what is the interval of the line plot? That means I'm starting from the beginning and I'm going up by how much every single time. Be careful, when you compare fractions, they all need to have the same what? The same denominator. So if you're gonna be comparing the fractions, you need to make sure that they all have the same denominator. Uh, for number three, it says, how many apples did the family pick all together? And for number four, it says, what is the total weight of all the apples? Again, in order to add all the weights together, you need to make them all uh, have the common denominator, and then you can add up all the weights. 
If you have any questions on line plots with fractions and mixed numbers, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.